Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. It is a rainy, cloudy day right now, and rather than fight with it, I'm just gonna go with it and share with you a little moody, cozy living room tour. I have made a few updates to our living room, and I've also just kind of added a few summery Americana touches for, you know, the summer season. We have 4th of July coming up. I always love that classic American style, that Ralph Lauren style. So I thought I would give you a tour of our living room and show you a couple of the updates and actually a project that I just finished as well. We have a mobile one-year-old now in the house, so I needed to update our coffee table. It was all very squared edges, very sharp, and I was just a little nervous that he was going to hurt himself on it. So I decided to just move that to our basement just temporarily. I love that coffee table, but I wanted something softer that he could still pull up on. So I headed to Facebook Marketplace, of course, that's where I find like 99% of the things in our home. And I found this awesome tufted leather ottoman, which is so classic and timeless. We will keep this forever. I love, love, of the feet on it and the little brass casters. It's just so perfect. It's classic and yet kid friendly. My kids love to lay on it, read on it, and it's just a perfect addition to this living room. Another update we made about a month or so ago was we actually updated the curtain rod in the living room. I had just a spray painted piece of conduit for the past five years, which worked fine because I needed something large for this large picture window but I finally wanted to update it. So I got this simple one from Amazon, actually. It is a brass color, but it comes in a bunch of different colors. And I just love the return on the end, how it's not just straight and makes that really lovely curve so that it really encloses the window. And when you look at it from the side, you don't see behind the curtain. It actually, you know, curves around. So I love that really simple little feature. It was not expensive and it just really made a nice update to the room. So the project that I finished is actually the bench that we have now at our computer desk in our built-ins. If you are new to my channel, my husband and I actually installed these built-ins. I had the vision and I got the, the bookshelves, but my husband totally executed it and turned my dream into reality. So we took three freestanding bookshelves and we trimmed them out, we added the lights, we raised them up, we created the desk area. It was a big project a couple years ago and I just absolutely love it. So the bench I found recently when we went on vacation and it was just a $10 bench from a thrift store and it was originally painted a sort of creamy yellow color with a kind of bright cushion fabric. So I stripped it down with some citrus strip and I tried a trick that I had heard before where you put on the paint stripper and you wrap it kind of like in saran wrap so that it really it doesn't dry out the stripper and it really adheres and helps to really penetrate the paint. So I kind of did that. I used just a really big garbage bag and some other littler bags to kind of hold the stain in place. And I did that overnight and then scraped it off. It was definitely a labor of love. It took a lot of work to get each of the, you know, the spindles paint free. And actually at one point used a pipe cleaner from my daughter's craft supplies and sort of use that to get in all of the crevices of the spindles and that actually worked perfectly. And then I covered the bench cushion in this really lovely fabric that I found at a yard sale recently and I shared about that and it actually was a perfect little makeover. It cost me hardly nothing. The, the fabric was you know, just a few pennies. So the whole project was pretty simple and straightforward. It did take, you know, a little elbow grease, but I love how it turned out. As far as adding some summer decor to this room, I had already this beautiful tarnished silver pitcher and I just stuck in a whole ton of American flags. It literally couldn't be easier. I just took a whole bundle of them, stuck them in, kind of arranged them a little bit. And I really love something oversized, especially in a smaller room. Our living room is not large. And I think a lot of people think small room, small pieces, small furniture, but really the opposite is true. When you have a small space, having at least one or two 
oversized pieces actually helps the room have more presence and feel larger. So I kept the mantle really, really simple, just this one oversized statement piece. I've mentioned how much I love that Ralph Lauren style, that classic New England style, but another inspiration that I have definitely fallen down the rabbit hole in is the House and Garden YouTube channel, which I have watched bits and pieces of throughout the past few years and I've always loved it but recently I think I've binged like every single one of their episodes. I am so inspired by that English cottage style, that kind of like maximalist style which I, I don't know if I could go like that far into it but I love patterns. I love textiles and fabrics and mixing patterns and bringing in art that's collected and little things that just bring you joy that aren't you know, they can't just go out to a store and buy. You can tell that all these houses have been collected and, you know, curated over the years. And I just, I'm so drawn to that and very inspired by it. So I can link to that channel if you want to go and check it out. But as far as other summery touches, I do have some hydrangea by the door next to my sun hat that I can pop on when I'm coming, you know, going in and out of the house. We have some starfish. We have some other shells around the room, just little touches that don't scream you know summertime but just give a nod to the summer season and it's just fun to play around with those little accessories I feel like I haven't really done much decorating in our living room since Christmas so it was fun to go around and play around with different surfaces touch things up and just give the room a little bit of attention and it's always evolving I don't know if I'll ever be done and as my kids ages you know are you know they're getting older i always want our house to be kid friendly comfortable comfortable for guests that come over but still have those special touches that show that i care about our home i care about the little details and that our home tells a story and it's collected over time thank you all so much for watching if you are new to my channel be sure to stick around and subscribe i love sharing all about our home and showing different room tours and as we update things to share the projects with you guys so if you're new stick around i'd love to have you here and i'll be talking to you soon take care bye